Stafford Macy has had an extraordinary career with Novell and Google, amongst others. In the last few years, as an angel investor and a tech startup entrepreneur, he's taken several technology businesses under his wing. We caught up with Stafford to get his take on the current technology climate in South Africa. How effective is software rentals for product like Figs? In my opinion, this is where the world's going. You know, there's a futurist called Kevin Kelly that actually says we're moving away from ownership to access. People don't want to own things anymore. You know, if you take a look at uh, movies, if you take a look at songs, uh, you know, when record labels made uh, music, we used to own things. We used to own the LP or the cassette. Um, or the CD that it came on. And people moved away from that because those ownership models had burdens associated with it. There was copyright and you could only play it on certain uh, mediums, etc. With this electronic age, people want to have access to things in a ubiquitous manner, fairly priced, with complete flexibility. So iTunes came along. So iTunes said you don't have to buy the CD with the 12 tracks. You can pick the songs that you like and you own those songs. But it gave flexibility, but it still required ownership, which meant you managed your songs. Spotify comes along and says, hey, you don't have to own music. We'll give you all the music that you want, $30 a month, as much as you can eat, and we'll give it to you across every single device, no matter where you are, you can listen to as much as you want for $30 a month. And I think that notion, um, and that's just one example in the music and entertainment area, but you're seeing it in cloud computing. You know, enterprises are saying, why do we own this IT stuff? Why don't we put all our services in the cloud? Small businesses are not buying software anymore. They're going to Google Apps, where there's nothing on the desktop. There's nothing in the business itself. It's sitting in the Google Cloud. You know, Microsoft services, the same, Office 365. And I think it's critical to have that as a strategy. And I almost believe this access model is the business model. So the the subscription-oriented way of accessing services from FIG will be the future. People won't buy software because people don't want the burden of owning software in terms of the refresh rates, the version controls, installation, support. People don't want that. What people want is software to be accessible ubiquitously across their mobile phones, their tablets, their PCs in a synchronized manner on a a monthly subscription basis. And I think that's a useful strategy, not just for the user from a cost and ease of use perspective, but for the folks making the software, you're getting data that you never had before. So you can actually see usage models. You can see what in your software is being utilized the most. So you're starting to get data that allows you to optimize your products and services in a a much better manner moving forward. NetBank offers and supports a number of platforms that promote small business and assist the small business owner. Here's more about one of them. NetBank understands the importance of the small business sector. And for this reason, we have partnered with the National Small Business Chamber to bring in practical interventions and supporting small businesses. On the first Friday of spring season, which is the 7th of September, 2012, NetBank, the National Small Business Chamber, will come together and launch what we call the Small Business Friday. As we launch Small Business Friday, we call on the nation, we call on the consumers, and everyone out there in our communities to support your local small business and do something small every day to make sure that small business becomes successful. As a founding partner of Small Business Friday, NetBank is committed towards supporting small businesses and making sure that we make things happen for the small business community. And that's not the only way NetBank supports small business. Here's another. Get your business off to a great start with the big price for small business from NetBank. Get free banking for two years with your NetBank business account, plus an incredible Samsung business package worth 65,000 Rand, the revamp of your brand image and corporate identity to the value of 30,000 Rand, and financial, admin, and legal consultation with our business expert, Thane Niemand. Register on simplybiz.co.za to enter now, and you can make big things happen for your small business. T's and C's apply. Gale has outstanding products that are of enormous value to the small business owner. With the right effort in the right place, she'll be creating that legacy in no time. Mike said that the first step in any marketing plan is understanding who your target market is. But there's something else that comes before that. Now, before you go out and market this, you need to make sure that that's exactly what it is. 
You need to put someone in front of that computer who's never seen your software before, let them test it. You watch them, even put a camera on them. Watch the flow, make sure they understand it. Can they download it? If they run into snags, what's the next step? When they have to open a file, can they understand it? Once you've got all that, that's when you can step out there and market this thing and market and market and market. Once people have tried the figure counting packages, they love them. The real job, of course, is getting people to try them in the first place. All you want to do is drive traffic through all the different places to your site, get them using it, get them loving it, let them send it on as well. How do you get traffic from social media? It's about being an expert, putting out hints and tips, giving them a reason, a little bite of something with the rest to follow if they get to the website. When I look at this, I'm not even sure where to look. My eyes just going absolutely everywhere. Gail's busy upgrading her website to be simpler and easier to navigate. The contact details stuck on here, mm -hmm. you can see they're totally lost on yes, the Yes, since I've had this pop-up thing mm. done. So let's make also just another button, just some contact details 100%. in case they haven't scrolled down to see it. Yeah. Thane thought that there were other ways Gail could bring in more business, like by introducing rental options and partnering with like-minded vendors. If you sell an item as a once-off, Every day you start the day unemployed. However, if you rent, as Andili is suggesting, wonderful idea. It increases the value of your business. Thane reminded Gail of the importance of training or bringing in someone capable of running the business. You need to find yourself a pilot. A pilot that can fly this airplane when you're actually out having the me time. And with someone else at the controls, Gail will also get to schedule in more of that important me time. Running a business is like, well, flying a plane, really. It's easier with a co-pilot. Next on It's My Biz. We meet a creative, talented designer from Norwood, Johannesburg. When she started her business seven years ago, it was with a mission in mind, to contemporize felt design. She's been very successful in doing that and now needs the inspiration and motivation to take her business even further. Thursday at 5.30 p.m. on E!